everyone! Today I'm here to tell you about the world's most dangerous sea creatures. And when I say dangerous, I mean really dangerous. If you Google dangerous sea creatures, you'll see things like stingrays, titan triggerfish, and barracudas. Yes, those animals can sting and bite, but with rare exceptions, they're not going to be life-threatening injuries. No, I'm talking about really dangerous animals, like, for example, the blue-ringed octopus. This little guy is no larger than a golf ball, but packs a neurotoxin venom strong enough to kill people. In fact, one blue-ringed octopus has enough venom at any one time to kill 26 people. And there's no anti-venom, so if you get bit, you're probably gonna die, period. Stay away from these little guys. The good news is that they're not aggressive at all. If you leave them alone, they leave you alone. The box jellyfish is another one to avoid, but these guys can be hard to avoid. At night, they're attracted to light, so they're a constant concern when surfacing at the end of a night dive near a boat or a jetty where the light has attracted them. There are 51 species of these jellies with four tentacles covered in stinging cells. Most are not dangerous, just painful, but a couple species are so powerful that they've killed more than 64 people in Australia alone. The venom causes cardiovascular collapse and is particularly dangerous to kids. I was stung on my ear by one of the less dangerous species in the Caribbean a few years ago during a night dive and it felt like my ear was on fire for about two hours. I can attest you definitely want to steer clear of these babies. Most people will never see a stonefish until they step on it due to its amazing camouflage. Fortunately, stepping on one is probably the only way to get it to sting since these fish rarely move while waiting for food to come within range. And they have no desire to attack anyone. But if it does sting you, you are in for a world of hurt. Although death is possible, most people just experience days of searing pain, which has been described as the most excruciating pain known to man. The good news is that there is an anti-venom for it, but the best thing you can do is stick the affected limb into the hottest possible water you can tolerate because the heat breaks down the venom. This innocent looking mollusk is a cone shell, basically a killer snail. There are 800 species of cone shells, eh, but they're all venomous. <laughs> the most venomous species can kill adult humans when they jab with their venom-tipped tooth, so they should never be handled. In some places, they're colloquially known as cigarette snails, because if you're stung by one, you'll have just enough time to smoke a cigarette before you die. <laughs> but that's not true, because nobody smokes cigarettes anymore. Those are even worse for you than cone shells. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> this handsome flower urchin just begs to be petted like a tribble. Oh, you don't know what a tribble is? Well, Google that. Anyway, you definitely do not want to pet one of these urchins. With most urchins, we're worried about the pointed spines, but this one is different. The spines are actually harmless. All those flower-looking things on there are pedicillaria, which deliver not one, but two different toxins. In combination, they deliver paralysis, difficulty breathing, numbness, and disorientation. Although an actual death from this urchin has not been confirmed, I can tell you that I do not want to test them. Get it? Urchin test? <laughs> Look it up. We're going to end on this guy, the sea snake. Sea snakes are highly venomous marine reptiles living in the tropical Indo-Pacific. Basically snakes that live underwater. How cool is that? There are 57 different sea snake species, and many are much more dangerous than a cobra. However, it turns out that they're very mild-mannered reptiles, and they have to be significantly harassed in order to bite. That does not mean you should go handling them. When they come out of the water to lay eggs, they're much more aggressive because they're vulnerable, so stay away from them on a beach. But definitely don't handle them like that guy you've seen on YouTube. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Now, I'll bet you're wondering, where's the shark? Hey, guess what? Statistically, sharks are not that dangerous. You are unlikely to see a shark in the ocean, and when you do, chances are, you'll scare it away. Can sharks be dangerous? Of course. But 2019 is the International Year of the Shark, because sharks are cool, and they are definitely not on my most dangerous species list. I'll take a shark over a box jelly any day. 
Thanks for watching Blue World Academy and don't forget to subscribe. If you're new, check out my underwater adventures on Jonathan Bird's Blue World and learn all about sharks with Shark Academy. The end.